the Germans were applying with devastating logic the first principle of successful modern warfare. The strike of the enemy's air bases and deny him their use, urgent steps had to be taken to protect the defenses of our aerodromes, and for this purpose the RAF regiment was formed. One of the issues about Mactilla was that there were so many officer casualties that often it was the sergeants and the corporals that were taking over the running of things because of the heavy casualties. So there was that, the idea of, of clearing the runways every morning, of getting rid of any Japanese that might be there. And it was really uh, the morning where, um, when Gerish went out with, his, um, with the flights that were going to clear the runway, and it was when the Japanese had set up these machine gun pits at the end of the runway that they got into trouble. Uh, and the machine guns opened up. There were seven men from the 2708 squadron killed, and this is where Gerish won his military medal. On the 7th of September, 1945, the King was pleased to approve the military medal to Sergeant Norman Philip Gerrish of 2708 Squadron, Royal Air Force Regiment. Sergeant Gerrish was in charge of a rifle flight during an action at Mike Taylor Airstrip, which the enemy had infiltrated at night. He sustained a leg wound early in the battle, but he rallied his men, taking over a light machine gun and returning the enemy fire with good effect, causing casualties. When his ammunition was expended, he took over another gun and ran forward to a position from which he could cover the withdrawal of his flight. His fire was so effective that all personnel were able to cross open ground and reach cover. Only then did Sergeant Gerrish make his way across the airstrip in full view of the enemy. His courage, determination and leadership were instrumental in holding two companies of the Japanese and for their ultimate defeat, June of which 20 of the enemy were killed. This airman set a magnificent example in the face of strong opposition. In terms of the 1945 Burma campaign, it was the battle that won Burma back. And the important thing about the regiment was that it was there and it was doing the job that it had been training for. The other thing that I think is important to remember, the RAF Regiment had only been in existence for two years, and yet it had the ethos and the motivation and the training to be able to take part in that siege and perform so well.